Okay, kids, it's bench day, it's bench day. It's sunny outside. I should be outside. Or fixing her body on the car. That sounds... Gotta make sure I put that right. <laughs> fixing her body. <laughs> fixing her car. Let's just put the body out of there. We won't go there today. That's for a different channel for her. Yeah, different time. Anyways, yes, we're doing some exhaust work on the Blurry Roadrunner. So I'll do some building on that. I think today I'm also gonna... We're gonna flock the interior of this too. I'm gonna do black carpet, white seating, black dash, kind of factory look. So that's what we got on the bench. And here's how I did the exhaust on this car. I did my normal solder, but I was trying to figure out what mufflers to use. And I was thinking of going through some boxes, which I did, and this is what I come up with. I thought, hey, what about a unique one? I'll just cut this in half and use that part. So short, shorty muffler, look at that. So very interesting theory. I guess I could have went with the full length exhaust, but on this unit, I thought I'd try something a little different, a little interesting. So that's kind of how we did things here. We did it the normal, flatten out the solder. I put a little bend in it and then we're going to glue it there. We'll glue some mounts this time and this guy will glue that in there. And I guess what should we name this muffler? That's come on, stay up there. You can do it. I know you can. For display purposes, we'll go like that. I'll have to blacken out that tip. And I think uh, we have to give this exhaust or muffler, sorry, a name. How about we, you know, we got Flowmaster mufflers. How about Chuck Master? We could do the Chuck Master mufflers. Actually, that brings back an old story. I was uh, working at a truck manufacturing fabricating plant, and we did a lot of uh, truck body fabricating, uh, ambulances, a little bit of everything. So, and uh, we got to use the shop every once in a while, and I made a muffler actually. Made my own exhaust for a Dodge short box truck that I had. So what I did was I took a, uh, a, a drawing of a Flowmaster and I made some out of sheet metal on myself and it actually sounded pretty good and worked pretty good. So it was a square box though, it was a square muffler, like a suitcase muffler. If I find a picture I'll have to show you how I did it and baffled it. I put, I made, I made my own baffles in the brake and welded it in to the unit and yeah. Anyhow, blah blah blah, Chuck, yeah, Chuck Master mufflers on the Roadrunner. So I think that was a pretty good idea to use up the Volari Roadrunner side pipes for a muffler. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And actually, these rims here, I really like these rims. That's actually pretty cool, funky. You know, Dodge made similar rims back in about, yeah, 77, 78, 79. Like LeBaron's and that had these style of rim. The... Plymouth LeBaron or Dodge LeBaron or whatever it's called. Yeah, late 70s. I actually had a set of those in real life one time and uh, I can't remember what I used them on. I think I had them on my truck at one time. Okay, very briefly, I also did flock the fuck out of the interior, <laughs> so to speak. And this is what I have for flocking. This is what I bought. Oh, peak embossing powder I use this it was all nine bucks for this little container so I hope this lasts like forever it should anyhow but I did this light colored it's the lightest color that they had they didn't have white and I didn't want to do a dark color because you know what I could pretty much spray or paint spray over this and get any color I want for a carpeting and in this case I did black I did an acrylic black. I did the normal routine, painted the floorboards black, this flat black, and then I sprinkled this on using the strainer method, even though my strainer was, uh, yeah, too big, so it didn't really strain anything. It just fell right through. And uh, I taped everything off on the bottom so I got an even line. And it turned out like this. And actually, I kind of like this look that I put on there. I, I'm thinking of just keeping this look and going with that. 
and leaving this white as the seat coloring. See, because on a normal Volari Roadrunners for 77, 78, that's what it was. White, I want a white seats, and usually with white seats, they have black carpet, black dash. Also, they had a black, uh, you can't see it, but black back tray, like this, see? Even though this has black interior, all trays, even on the white interiors, all the rear trays were black. Uh, I, oh, I, in this guy, he built a model and he's done it right. He's done white interior, black floor with black tray. So that's what we're going to replicate here. Uh, I was considering painting this black, the floor, just doing a light spray bomb. But you know what? I'm second guessing. I should leave it because I kind of like that look with the white interior. Maybe I'll, it will look okay, look kind of cool. So now I'm thinking I might do the back tray to match that carpet. So what do you guys think? Should Now I'm asking your opinion. This really matters because I'm thinking I might leave it and just go with the black dash and black council and with the floor that color it's a little bit different or I could just spray it black so your guys what do you think there if I get the majority think I should leave it like this then that's what it's gonna stay like and uh, so yeah I'm not sure what to do see anyways yeah blah 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 I'm trying to figure all oh, the things out oh lastly before I end it check out this I was looking up some research material and I found this the old Judy Lilly Valari Roadrunner. She used to have a lot of dusters back in the day, but that's her original stock eliminator drag car. And it went Scottsdale auction, Barrett Jackson for 23 grand. Actually, that's not a bad price considering it has low miles. It's only been raced. It was never a street car. Yeah, very freaking awesome little deal. I, I would consider if I had the money, I would pick up something like that that has a lot of historic value anyhow kids i should say goodbye enough blah 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 we'll see you next time i got a, my fred henry build unveiling coming so and on top of that this weekend i might go to a model shop and i'll bring you guys along so two things i got on the go so my friends cheers until next time keep staying awesome no coffee cheers today what's wrong with me hmm I had my fill, I guess, already this morning. So, all right, later.